Hi everybody, all you YouTube copter fans, uh, welcome to uh, Turbo Reviews, I'm Turbo, and uh, today I've got another little copter to review, uh, it's a nifty little uh, copter, I really like this one, it's neat, it's uh, this one here, colorful, there we go. But uh, that's what it looks like. It, uh, it's a nanocopter by Cheerson. It's a Cheerson 10D. Uh, and it's got a barometer in it. So it will hold uh, altitude. And uh, it does really great. It, uh, I have nothing but good to say really about it. I, I do have some instances. Uh, in the end of this video, I'll show you those. That I did have with it uh, some issues outside outdoors well I had some I think I got some indoors too that it uh, kind of went sporadic I think the barometer reads uh, pressure sometimes wrong or it'll pick up pick it up off the blades when you're accelerating and ri read that as rising or falling and just take off or fall out of the sky and uh, it only did that a few times and then uh, other than that it flew great and once you get it uh, locked in and you get your altitude all you got to do is steer I mean this is a perfect beginner copter perfect beginner copter uh, it's their first one and uh, they're learning they want to learn how to fly one this is it this is it it uh, once you get altitude especially indoors it's a great indoor flyer if you got a little bit of space and uh, you just you, you learn to steer it and uh, and learn to fly, and then uh, you know you, you can learn with a with a get an, another one that you have to hold the hover you know you have to hold the throttle uh, yourself uh, you know and learn learn to do that also because that's you have to know that uh, too but uh, but like to learn on this is perfect uh, perfect first copter but uh, here's some video of me flying it. Uh, I'll show you first, I guess, what the controls do. Uh, of course, you turn it on and it blinks. Put it on a flat surface. You'll get your beeps when you turn your remote on. Now we're ready to fly. Alright, I press this button here. It's normally your trim forward. Well, here it's take off. You press up and it'll fire up and it'll shoot up into the air about, oh, two foot in the air and down is supposed to be land sometimes it kind of works and it usually works but it uh sometimes it takes it a minute to do it and other times you you know it just you don't know where it's going to go when it does come down or when it's going to but uh it it does works to a, to an ex to a uh, point and uh then you got this knob you push on it there's a intermediate rate pro rate I never run pro on pro the yaw is outrageously fast it'll just spin and on I mean it's too fast for me to control uh, I'll tell you that but uh, one is real good two is where I like to keep it and then here you get your 3d flips of course in any direction you push it will do a flip that's about all I got to say about it um, Here's some indoor and outdoor flights of it. And a uh, third person view. This doesn't have a camera or anything on it. It's just the copter and barometer control. You know, barometer module in it. And uh, it's a great flyer though. It's an awesome flyer. You'll see. Uh, here we go.
Okay, we're going to give the Nano Cheerson 10D one more chance outdoors. It's calm, there's no wind, no nothing. It should fly. Go ahead and see if it flies. There we go, now look at it. Now it's going. Maneuvers very well. Just had a little slight problem at first. Zooming like a little copter should. This is stage two. It's intermediate. I don't need stage three. I can tell you that right now. See if it comes down yet. Yeah. Router is working. Batteries lasting a long time too. Up oh, there's see if it lands itself. Hitting the land button.
<laughs> yep, landed. Outdoors, pretty good. As you can see, this thing is fun to fly. And it's really easy. Uh, it flies really easy and it's, uh, it's a great flyer. It does great. Uh, like I say, it's a perfect beginner copter for the person that you, you know, know that would like to fly a copter but they don't know anything about them or uh, anything. They've never flown one and would like to. This is great. This thing is great. It is just uh, awesome to fly. It just zooms around. I mean, just buzzes around. Uh, here's some mishaps I'll show you that I had with it. Uh, I think it's due to the barometer. And I reset the gyro and reset the gyro. And that's, I'll show you that, how you do that. Uh, you turn it on. And you bind it all up and everything. And uh, I believe you need to do it in uh, pro rate. So hit your deal till it beeps three times. Put your levers over to the bottom right. Hold them to the bottom right. The lights will blink rapidly. Then they will stop. And uh, they will blink slow and then they will quit. Once they quit and they blink steady, it should be calibrated. And make sure it's on something level and flat. And uh, I did that a couple times. And then it finally caught on. And once you get it locked in, leave it alone. Don't recalibrate it. Leave it there. And it should fly good for a while. Unless you whack it around a lot. And then you'll need to recalibrate it. But uh, other than that, once you get it calibrated, leave it leave it there. Because it does well if it's once it's locked in and stays there. Anyway, that's my review on this copter. Uh, it's a great flyer. Uh, I recommend it highly. Uh, if you like the Nanos, you'll love this one. And like I say, a first nano is the one. Uh, it's easy to fly. Once you get it in the air, you don't have to worry about keeping it in the air. You just have to worry about guiding it. And uh, and it's a lot of fun. It's, it's really a lot of fun. Uh, it'll let you take advantage of it real easy. <laughs> anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed it. And here's the uh, mishaps I had. Uh, take a look at those and just know that if yours does this, it will, but it'll be all right. It, it flies great. It's a great copter. There you go. Have a nice day, everybody. And we'll see you next time. It's been Turbo at Turbo Reviews. And we're gone. We're out of here. Wow. Crazy little sucker. Peace. What in the world could be wrong with it? Holy shit. It goes nowhere or it goes way up there. We don't need that. Try calibrating it one more time. Oh shit. Dang. <laughs>
I'm going to lose this thing, but if I lose it, I guess I'll lose it because it ain't flying. Lift off. Well, it seems to rise when you go forward. Barometer, oh. Oh, the goodness. Where it land. God dang it, you son of a gun. God almighty. That's real great. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> That was crazy. All right, one more time. Hey, okay, come down, come down, come down. I always land worked. This. Okay. Thank you. 